It's funny because um, we always come out as bisexual usually first. <laughs> Conscious. Today's gonna actually be interesting because we love to talk about the LGBTQ community. Yes. I should say LGBTQ plus. Exactly. There's so There's much so that goes into it. Much more that we need to teach ourselves about. We're gonna learn together. Yeah, exactly. That's the whole point of us learning together. Let's just get right into it. Let's get it. Do you feel like the LGBT plus community is a safe place for all LGBT people? Safe? Safe place, like as in physically safe or emotionally and mentally safe. Both, all of those. Things. All of that, uh, within the community, I would say majority of it. Majority, yeah. majority. Okay. Do you feel like there's discrimination in, in the LGBT community? For sure. If you're part of the community, you guys know yeah. there's discrimination. Yeah. Have you ever found yourself discriminated or witnessed discrimination in the community? People I have never yeah. witnessed it. Mm -hmm. I was a part of discrimination. Like, Ooh, we discriminating. got a pause right there. We got a pause right there. We'll come back to that one. <laughs> what are some phobias you can think of in the LGBT community? Oh, girl. I think the most uh, popular, which is pretty sad to say, the most popular, the most discrimination phobia is biphobia. Yeah, biphobia. We, we're definitely touching on that today. That is actually our main topic today. We're talking about biphobia with you guys because I just, I've heard a lot of hating going around. Mm. I'm not really with it. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not with that. I don't. I don't agree with that. When did you contribute to that? When did <laughs> that, you contribute? That's that so to sad to even like hear you say it. Mm -hmm. It makes it even worse of what how I felt. Well, at the time. Okay, talk, like talk to us about where you were in, in life and time. How old were you? Like what stage? Were well, you it was on social media. It was on Facebook. Oh. I decided. You the know, the most hate, hateful place. You know, and it says it actually tells you what does it say? What's on your mind? <laughs> yeah. So I fucking said what was on my mind. Fuck, what did you say? And at the time, I don't know what made me think of it at the moment, but I said I don't believe in bisexuality. Mm. I feel like they're just being selfish and they just they just want a part of everything. Mm. I, and mind you, I, I date nothing but bisexual For women. I have never dated a straight, like, Lesbian. Lesbian, like all around, like not even a past of dating men. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like none of that. Mm -hmm. So it's not that I discriminate in that way when it comes to dating. Right. But I just don't didn't understand it at the time. How do you feel about um, bisexual um, men, women now? Oh no! Or any? It's anything. completely changed, mm -hmm. and I think it's due to growth in the community, mm -hmm. growth in society. Mm -hmm. And cause you know, girl, we come from different generations. Yes, that's what I want to touch on. For sure. So back in my time, it was it was hard to harder to understand. But your time, girl, you guys are more open. Yeah. So right now, um, I actually watched a video by Jade Fox. Jade Fox, let me shout you out, cause you've been actually starting up the pot in the LGBT YouTube world. I'm just telling you, you've been starting up the pot. You've been having other YouTubers talk about shit that has never been talked about. Uh, so- And that's thank, what we're doing here, so thank honestly, you, girl. Honestly, thank you, cause it's, 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 it's rubbing off of me. Yeah, I know. But yeah, so I just wanna say that she had touched on bi biphobia. She made a video about biphobia, and it made me think about how I do, ne I never ever thought twice about bisexuals. I've talked to, dated bisexuals. I never thought twice about it because I can fully understand that there is a capacity to love. If I can understand that I'm supposed to love um, a man and be straight and be feminine and I've gone against the grain and, I can, and, I'm, mm. and I'm in love and infatuated with women, why can I comprehend that someone can be bisexual and have right. a love for a man or a woman or whatever there may be, people are pansexual and they just don't even see gender. 
They just love the being. And that's what that is, being bisexual. Your preference sexually or physically is a man or a woman, and you love that being. Mm. You don't care about what she thought at one point, being selfish. I want it all for myself. <laughs> like, that is a very, that's a very, like, when, like, you think about monogamy and yeah. the 21st century and, like, people can't comprehend that you want, like, that you can't only have one person or something. And like it's that. interesting because I believe in love is love. Yeah, exactly. You love the person. You love that spirit, you know. Is my face in this video? <laughs> you love that spirit. And it's it's crazy to me that me, me being lesbian at the time, mm -hmm. I'm over here trying to fight for what is it that you don't understand that I can't love a woman? Like, yeah. why the fuck? Yeah. And I'm over here discriminating against a person right. who is loving someone else regardless of gender. I'm like, what the fuck? This was my mentality at, such, at your age. Yeah, and also, let's point our finger at the studs. Okay, here bit. we go. Let's point our <laughs> finger at the studs a little bit because I remember when I was younger and there was this feeling like, oh my God, you're gonna be with a guy. You wanna be with a guy after me or you were with a guy before? Like, um, you know what I'm saying? Like. What um, is that? I don't even understand. At this point, I don't. I can't even remember my past self. I don't even know what I was thinking because I was like so young. The only reason I would say you're gonna be with the guy because I just hear stories about how men treat women, but right. that's the only reason. But not because oh you get you're taking you're taking penis now or some shit like that. That's dumb stuff that I like I, that I actually maybe yeah. I have heard it in passing. It's, now that I'm thinking about it, like I've heard it in passing, but I haven't like seen some yeah. straight up stuff like that you know what i'm saying you know what's interesting though like because a lot of studs find it disgusting like at, when their femme girlfriend has had penis has had penis and goes to penis afterwards like they just get disgusted listen who cares you yeah. weren't with the person before and you weren't with the person after. after who cares you're with the person right then at the moment and you love that person and that person loves you and is Regardless. infatuated or no i'm, I'm saying infatuated <laughs> but just that person is interested in you exactly if you are upset or you think a man's gonna take your girl honestly that's your own insecurity that's insecurity. called being insecure and that's intimidated blaming something that has also nothing to do with you mm. That's all of her own preference, their own preference. That's all that is. And also, I saw like one video, one, I don't know if you've ever seen Insecure, but even like straight women cannot wrap their head around uh -huh. a man being bisexual. Like that is something they cannot do. Yeah. Like, oh man, like, oh, he did this and that. He's done these things in the past. With a penis. With a penis, or he, I, now I have more competition. Why is this always about competition? And it's crazy too, because they also feel, it's, it's, by, the end of the, by the end of the day, it's always stems from insecurity, right? Yes, it's insecurity. When they're in a relationship with this bisexual person, they feel like they're gonna cheat on them. With because the they have more options. Right, 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 right yeah. And, and by the end of the day, there is more options. There is more options. <laughs> they do have more options. Maybe maybe that's why back then I was kind of like jealous of it or envious of it. I'm like, like damn, you got more options than I do. Look, but you have more <laughs> options, but I've chosen you. I have more I know. options, but I've chosen I you. Know. That is, that's what I just think about. Yeah. Honestly, I don't really think about you have more options, so you're gonna go somewhere else. Like. If that person's gonna go somewhere else because they don't want what's here anymore, they're gonna go somewhere else regardless. Facts. A cheater's gonna cheat. A cheater's it gonna don't cheat. matter with what gender. It, it okay? don't matter. So if like they're bi and then <laughs> they were with you, a no, female, no. and they were decided that they saw another female, it's the same shit. Same Lesbians shit. Lesbians cheat. Gay people cheat. Bisexual cheat. They all be cheating. Everybody be cheating. <laughs> Everybody be cheating, especially nowadays. Girl. Exactly. So Everybody I'm cheating. like, I don't understand. I don't comprehend that. That is. Just, Stop. Stop. And, and you know what I also found interesting? It's not just in our community. I've noticed because oh, yeah. the women that I've been with, mm -hmm. they do end up with men after. They either go directly to a man after or later on down the road they actually get married, have children, mm -hmm. all that. It never bothered me because as, as, as I got older, obviously, like right. that doesn't bother me. I don't even think about that. Right. But I noticed that once our relationship is over, I hear it from straight people. Did you hear that she went to a guy? Like she's with a guy now? You've never experienced that? 
Girl, everybody be on my fucking DMs like, oh, you know this person's with this with a guy now. Why they want drama? I, I, like, even if it was if it was a girl, they wouldn't have said that. You know, she's with a girl. You know, actually, in high school, there was this girl, and she was bisexual, and we had a thing for a little bit, and she went to a man right after. Mm -hmm. I actually didn't think anything of it. Right. I, don't think I, I don't think nothing of it either. I was just like, just is. I was like, <laughs> oh, okay, she's with this guy now. Yeah. I don't, I don't understand it. I don't. I still actually really don't understand. So if you guys are, maybe you have something in you that you have against bisexual people. Can you comment below and tell me what that is? Yeah, and if you really think about it, what is phobia? Phobia is fear of, right? You get what I'm saying? So what are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? Think about it within yourself. You're afraid about you're afraid of something so because of something inside of you. Cause they ain't doing shit but living their lives. Didn't she just speak the truth? <laughs> Didn't she just speak the truth? Damn! I love I love when like Carol or anybody else can just spit some real facts in the simplest form. Simple as that. Simple. Simple as that. It's a phobia. Fear of. Period. That's it. Period. Period. So, so go out and um, um, go talk to some bisexuals. And, <laughs> no, seriously. Don't show them no hate, you don't guys. Don't show them no hate. It ain't, it ain't your business by the end of the motherfucking day. If it's they not. If they're not in your business, get the fuck out of theirs. Honestly. Period. Let them love. Let them love. Let them love. Studs, we need to change our mindset. For sure. There's no competition with men. You already know. You are a woman. Mm. You know a woman's mind. Yes, you have what they don't have physically. And you're already at an advantage. It's all Gucci over here. You know? <laughs> it's already Gucci over here. We don't... We don't hate. Be confident. Stay confident. Love your damn self. Love okay? yourself. Yes. What y'all thought about that topic about bisexuality and biphobia? Yes. Comment below, y'all. We want to know your opinions, your thoughts. We come from two different generations. Exactly. Also, please let us know about other phobias you have Ooh. experienced in the LGBT community so we can learn with about it and touch more on that. So Facts. Awesome. All right, y'all. Tell, tell us what you thought about this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please hit that bell so you can get notified every time we upload. See y'all in the next video. Peace. Peace.